I'm not even sure that I want to even say how much I dislike this bag, but it has to go back. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a bag I picked up at a pretty good deal and I was really excited about picking it up because it is the new version of a bag that I'm very, very fond of. I have a lot of them, they're all up there on my wall. And um, it was supposedly the it bag of the summer. That's what I heard across many channels out there and I'm sure for others it is the it bag but um you know the the burrow has a special place in my heart the original version of it so it was already going to be a huge lift for me to fall in love with the new version of it I'm not even sure that I want to even say how much I dislike this bag but it has to go back but it looked pretty cute from um, others videos that um, I had been watching. So um, when I saw that Macy's had one on sale, I went ahead and picked one up and it happened to be in a really pretty fall color that I didn't really have, I, oddly enough, a solid dark brown bag. I have all my LV bags um, in Damiera Ben. I have the monogram. I have cognac kind of color bags. Um, but I didn't have this dark tone. And I'm like, this is a bag I'm missing. It was, you know, a relatively good price. Um, I, I was like, let me give it a shot and, you know, try out the, the bag. So, um, it arrived and I've actually had it for a few weeks now and I opened it up, looked inside and Macy's, of course, true to form, they just threw it in the box by itself. There was no padding. It was wrapped in plastic. So it had all of its packaging and that's fine, whatever. So I was like, okay, it's in there. I will get to it whenever and come back to it. So I was not excited even from that point which seemed odd because i'm always excited to to see a bag and, and open it up but anyway i let it sit for a couple weeks and then i went to open it up and there was an odd smell to it and i thought well maybe that's just the excessive amount of packaging in the plastic um maybe i'll air it out so this is how it's been sitting since um, I opened it. It still smells that way. But what I can say is the minute I started to look at the item, I was less than thrilled with it. Um, the color is fine and I don't want to, so here's, here's my dilemma. I don't want to actually unwrap it, try it on and do all the things. So I just, I, I want to return it, period. I, I, at this point, having touched it, having smelled it, this does not feel like a good quality bag to me. This does not feel like coach quality bags. This feels like the type of coach bag that made me run away from the brand years ago. So that alone, I'm like, I'm just going to take it back to me. I'm literally taking it back to Macy's when I'm finished <laughs> recording. So I don't want to unwrap it. And that is, I freely admit, unfair to this bag. I should give it a whirl, right? Give it a, a real, you know, try, but having touched it, having kind of poked around in it, I don't see how this is good quality glove tanned leather. I'm, I'm finding it just baffling that this, this is considered the high quality. I only paid two fifty dollars for it, which is significantly less than um, retail. So that's totally fine. But, you know, I kind of peeled back the um, wrapping here a little bit on the strap to, to feel it. Don't like the way it feels. It feels very plasticky. I can get in here pretty far and touch it. Um, 
I don't like the way it feels. I, I, it totally feels like plastic. And that really just bothers me. So for that reason alone, that's why it's going back. I'll insert pictures of what it should look like. I mean, it's a beautiful brown. Um, it's called maple. And I'm sure, I think that's what like all the empires and Brooklyn's and all the other bags of this season are coming out in. And I'm sure it's fine. It's just not gonna work for me. Just, I have this prejudice against it. Plain and simple. I freely admit it. it's a prejudice. I love the original Burrow so much that it was going to be a major um, obstacle for me to get over the design, but I knew it was a different kind of bag and I was willing to look past that because I wanted to try it out. But knowing that this quality isn't there, I'm just not even gonna go there. So it's going back in the box. And what I'm talking about is basically, I grabbed one of my bags from 2008, I think it was. Um, old, old, old tote that I've had forever. Um, and while she is dirty, she's not the, the cleanest little thing. The leather doesn't feel like that. And, and this doesn't even say, I think that it's glove tan. It just says made from full grain cowhide leather variations in the grain are characteristic to its superior craftsmanship, blah, 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 all those things. But this feels substantially nicer than what that, that feels like plastic. I, it, it feels cheap and I'm not a fan. So this is the more smooth type of leather. So I'm expecting to see these kind of, you know, veining, graining, whatever, um, in that it's not, it's very flat, very smooth, very scratch prone. It's just very suspicious and I don't know why. And granted, I'm, I'm, very fond of pebbled leather. I have a few, I have two of the burrow, old burrows in the smooth leather. I'm more fond of the pebbled. And in fact, most of mine are in pebbled, but I have two in the smooth. The leather feels different on those as well. So it's just not, it's not there. So it's going back. That's fine. I, I just can't get over it. And I'm sure others love the bag. I'm sure its functionality is just fine. It's just something I can't get over and it's totally my my own little prejudices. The size of the bag is fine. I think my biggest gripe with it is not just the quality, but I'm irritated with all the manufacturers, all the brands, all the designers out there that take a classic design like the Burrow. I actually bought one, another one. So it's right here. Take this classic design and uh, change it so substantially. This should, if they're going to bring back the burrow, bring it back, maybe change it a little bit, but maybe put some feet on it. That would have been great. <laughs> you know? Bring it back with a modern twist on it, but don't change it so dramatically. That was really disappointing. So I'm like, quality sucks in my opinion and you change the shape completely why did you do that call it something else just give it a different name why why did you have to bring it back and like tarnish the great name of the borough I know it I know this is so stupid Tr trust me I know it's completely the dumbest thing ever and every brand has the right to do that you know Louis Vuitton does it all the time they've had the favorite where they've revamped it they did the mat with the Madeline, same thing. I forgot how many other ones that they've brought back and changed. And I know that's within their rights, but it's like, if it's a great seller, if it's a great design, why break it? Why, why take something and turn it into something that's not that great? You, the, the English language is quite vast. Call it something else, you know, just get, that's just, just me. I'm, I'm on my little high horse, but Anywho, it's going back. I didn't even want to film because I don't like to film videos and I know I'm going to return a product, but that's how I feel about this particular one. I don't see the quality. I'm really disappointed in just the construction of it. it. Maybe it's just this particular one that turned out that way and the other ones were just fine. And maybe it was this um, lot of, of leather that 
feels this way. I don't know. Um, I know that several had like the white and the green and other colors and really were fond of it. Um, this one just does not, it's not it. So it's going back to Macy's. Um, I paid $2.50 for it. It'll probably be discounted even more by the time it gets returned. So I'm heading down to Macy's to send it back right now. Don't love it. I will continue to hunt down the original burrow bag. I keep coming up with more and more. I know I should stop buying them, but it was a it was a great design at that time. I wish they'd bring it back and I wish they would bring back the consistent quality. And maybe it's just the pebbled leather is my go-to leather. The Cassie, great, exactly the same pebbled leather I'm used to. So the Cassie is just a couple years old. It's the same great quality as the burrow that's over 10 years old. And the fact that the tabby that I just uh, walked, that I just unboxed, that leather feels the same. So maybe it's just that particular type of leather is consistent and has a, a way of, of being um, quality controlled better. I don't know. But something about this glove tan leather just, no, just not good. So anyway, it's going back. Um, I'm... I'm happy for everybody who really liked the bag. I don't consider it an it bag myself personally. Um, didn't work out for me, but you know, if it works out for you, great for you. Hope you get lots of <laughs> extended use out of it. Um, it's just not the bowler bag for me. There's a lot of other uh, styles out there that are work working for me and I'm going to get my money back and put it to something else. So um, tell me your thoughts about it. I'm sure if you don't agree with me, you'll let me know and that's okay. We can disagree. We can all like different things and that's what this is all about. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you being with me and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.